Bicnogenol seems to be a substance that has just a wide range of applications, but how can one natural ingredient be applied to so many different health issues? Well, that's a great question. And, and pycnogenol, the reason why pycnogenol has so many different health applications is because it really, health really comes down to very basic things. Mm -hmm. You know, it comes down to inflammation control, okay. comes down to oxidative stress control, mm -hmm. comes down to keeping your blood vessels working correctly, comes down to ver keeping your immune system functioning. So it really comes down to very basic and things. And pycnogenol can handle all those things. Pycnogenol handles all of those things in abundance, you know, and wow. does, it, does it well and has 40 years of clinical research to support that, with over 280 scientific publications to support that, thousands and thousands of people in these clinical trials. So there's lots of support to show that it can do just that. And that's why pycnogenol can handle so many different, because people think, what does allergies have to do with right. heart disease mm -hmm, or with exactly. cognitive function or that sort of thing? Well, it does. What does it have to do with diabetes? It all does because does. you're keeping your blood vessels open. Mm -hmm. That prevents you from you know, keeping your blood vessels not only open, mm -hmm. but the ability for them to open and close appropriately. So that's, that's high blood pressure and heart disease right there. All right. Keeping blood sugar down, keeping your hemoglobin A1C1 down, that's diabetes. Mm -hmm. Uh, keeping your small blood vessels patent, microcirculation, that goes to good healthy skin, that goes to eye health, that goes to cognitive function. Mm -hmm. Pycnogenol works on collagen and elastin, that goes to looking good, anti-aging, keeping your skin looking good, goes to keeping the blood vessels working and doing what they're supposed to do. So it's really, pycnogenol works on the basic level of health, and that's why it can do so many different things. It keeps you working on the inside. Is that what you're saying? So Correct. It, it keeps you anti-aging from the inside out. Mm -hmm. And that's what's really, I think, vital because it keeps, it, it keeps when you've got perfusion, mm -hmm. when you've got good circulation, mm -hmm. your organs are going to be healthy. That's and it's when your organs start to break down. That is fundamental. That's fundamental. Yeah. You've got, because people don't realize that if you don't have blood flow to your organs, you don't get oxygen to your organs. Because mm -hmm. blood flow brings oxygen everywhere. And I don't think people put two and two together. They think they breathe into their lungs and magically, you know, <laughs> oxygen just gets everywhere. <laughs> or you only need it in your lungs. Right. But really, True. oxygen is all throughout our entire bodies. And the blood has to bring it there. And by pycnogenol keeping the circulation, uh, supporting a healthy circulation, it can do just that. And that's when your organs stay healthy. So when your insides are staying healthy, I mean, that's really, you know, your mm -hmm. liver, your spleen, your kidneys, but your eyes, your And I think that's GI important tract. that you say that the oxygen is, is so crucial because it's like a, we're like a pulsating, breathing planet. I mean, this is where we have oxygen. Is on oh, Earth. absolutely. And I mean, our internal world mm -hmm. is just the same as our external world. Yes. It's the only way, I mean, that's how we've adapted to survive. And, and that's really... What's going on in here? Mm -hmm. You think what's going on out here is complex? <laughs> Try figuring out what's going on in there. I mean, it's a lot. Okay, so, and, this, and the pycnogenol comes from such a natural source. Well, that's the beauty of it, I think, and that's why it works so well. It comes from this beautiful, pristine uh, pine, maritime French pine tree, mm -hmm. bark, forest. It's amazing. Um, it's been there for hundreds and hundreds of years, untouched by man. Um, there's no toxic solvents used in processing the product. Uh, there's no pesticides or herbicides used in the soil where the trees are grown. I mean, and it's just, it's part of us. I'm a huge believer that we're part of our environment and we're mm -hmm. part of our system. And, mm -hmm. and I've been talking for years and years and years, probably 15 years now, about local seasonal eating. Oh, yes. And I'm so happy to now see that it's become such a huge trend now because mm -hmm. we are part of our environments. We're part of why we eat. And it's part of why I think Europeans tend to have healthier diets than we do. Um, and it's why and I think that's part of the French paradox, why they can smoke and drink wine and, and uh, eat all of that cheese mm -hmm. and, and have way lower rates of heart disease than we yes. do. It's because they, they're eating locally sourced foods. They're not, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the average chicken breast in America travels over 3,000 miles to get to your plate. Oh, okay. Think about a pineapple. Where are we getting pineapples from? Mm -hmm. Getting pineapples from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Getting pineapples from South America. You know, our food's traveling 
especially in America, because we yes. don't want anything that's not out of season. I mean, I want everything all the time, constantly. <laughs> I need it. Okay. So, so it's really kind of, uh, and that's not the way. We should be eating seasonally. We should be eating and local. seasonally. Locally, if you can, definitely seasonal. But I mean, the fact that our food travels so far, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it leads to so many different issues. And I think that's why we have so many, that's why America's the most overweight country on the planet. I think it's because we just don't have any control over our food supply. And that's where something like Pycnogenol mm -hmm. can come in and pick up all the pieces. Yes. Yeah, you know, and, and, and that's not to give people free reign to go and do no, whatever they want. No, no. Because I'm all over people for their diet and their exercise habits and all of that stuff. But Pycnogenol can definitely be a very excellent source of keeping your internal engine mm -hmm. running the way it's supposed to. And your internal engine is every part of you. You are circulating, you are, you are creating free radicals. Pycnogenol is in there right now, scavenging them up, helping the vitamin C to stay in there, helping the vitamin E. It's helped keeping your blood vessels flowing and your blood going into your brain so we can be having this conversation, mm -hmm. uh, keeping your eyes healthy because it can help with the microcirculation in the eyes. I, it's, it's just amazing. And all of that is going on as we're doing all of this. And if we don't have something, we mm -hmm. don't have a nutritional supplement that can support that, yes. we're really not going to be in as, as best shape as we can be. The beauty of Pycnogenol is, is that it can do all of this because it's getting to the fundamental root of health. Thank you so much. Thank you.